Why is the British media so obsessed with Meghan Markle and her using her royal title? It's hers to use however she sees fit. So, of course, I had this program on GB News where they were talking about the um, title and they had Jenny Bond on. She's one of their royal experts. And she asserts that Meghan Markle has every right to use her title, um, the Duchess of Sussex, despite facing criticism for her new lifestyle brand. So we know that Megan recently launched her brand, American Riviera Orchard, and the video was on Instagram depicting a lovely music of Nancy Wilson and her picking her flowers, and the song was I Wish You Love played in the background, right? We know that. Criticism arose on two fronts regarding the lifestyle brand. First, they were saying that Megan should not be using the royal title um, on the brand page and also that she was trying to compete with William and Harry for the Diana Awards. Ridiculous, as you always know. In an interview with GB News, Royal Correspondent Jenny Bond defended Meghan, stating, I personally don't think it was deliberate on Meghan's part. You know, she probably would get criticized whenever she launched it because there is an era of um there are lots of other royal events going on all over the place so she's saying no matter when megan launch it what time what year what there there's always some issues like they're telling megan not to live her life they're telling her go home sit down we don't want to see you going to exile where you know, like in the church, we excommunicate you. Don't, don't. And that's not going to happen. Not in today's um, day and age with social media. So Bond continued to express support for Megan's venture, emphasizing good on her for launching something that is very genuinely her. She praised Megan's artistic and clever nature and her desire to pursue legitimate avenues of earning her own income because we know that's one of the big things. Megan and Harry want to earn their own income. They don't want to depend on the taxpayer right? She deserves credit for launching something that truly reflects her, she remarked. I believe this is her strong suit. Her previous venture to take her Instagram account was tremendously successful, and I anticipate the same for this endeavor, and so do we, Jenny. Thank you for saying that. She is exceptionally artistic and intelligent. Wow. This is Jenny, Jenny, who don't normally say nice things about Megan, but this was, you know, nice for her to take a back, take a step back and say, you know what, why are we just always piling on, piling on Megan, but asking for asking Grace for Kate. So let's stop it. And I think that was maybe her turning point of how people were treating Kate badly. So she said, she has a desire to earn her own income, which is what I was saying before. And this is a perfectly legitimate means of doing so. Regarding the use of her royal title, Bond acknowledged that while Megan has every right to use it, there may be implications if some disapproves of certain aspects of royalty. She's saying, well, Megan them don't like certain aspects of the royal of royalty, and they left, so they should not. They should maybe not use a title, but then that's not her. She cannot change that. The title is the title unless they go to parliament to change that. I don't even think Charles can change it. He has to go to parliament. But she did emphasize, however, she alights the commercial value attached to Meghan's title and caution against perpetual criticisms of her action because Fergie did it. Fergie wrote book. Fergie is still the Duchess of York. Um... Charles is selling the Duchy of Cornwall all over the place. Um, Charles told the Queen that he was not going to let Camilla be Queen, but she would be Queen Concert. No, Camilla is Queen. There are so many things that have changed, but everybody and their grandmother picks, up, picks on Meghan for every single thing. They can't win no matter what they do. And at some point, you have to say, I'm just going to do me. I'm going to live my life, you know? So according to the report, we know that Megan's brand is going to cover a wide variety of things, you know, home, garden, food, general lifestyle content, uh, makeup, 
everything that is all good, you know, maybe organic. We know Megan is going to go for a lot of organic things because she wants people to live a, you know, a sustainable lifestyle. So Megan, good to see you. I'm so happy for you. The haters can always hate. They can always talk. They can always whatever. You are not going to change your life to fit into theirs. We have one life to live and you have to live it to the best of your ability. So, guys, thank you. That's what I wanted to bring to your attention. Bye. And I'm, I'm also going to um, play a tape with Jenny talking about it and just refuting the nonsense and saying, no, guys, stop it. Let, let's stop. Bye, guys. Well, I don't see it would be for maximum coverage because there was already one big royal story running, which was the Diana Legacy Awards. Um, I personally don't think it was deliberate on Meghan's part. You know, she'd probably get criticised whenever uh, she launched it because there's a lot of other royal events going on all over the place. And, uh, you know, there's suggestions that it was to upstage William. Well, Harry was very much involved in these awards as well, and I'm sure she didn't want to upstage her own husband. So I think it was just she had to choose time. She chose that day. And good for her for launching this this new venture. It's exactly what she should be doing. I, I, it, it's just, it's a, it's a stunningly tone-deaf day to launch a new venture, surely. No, what harm has been done? There's been publicity for her venture. There's been plenty of publicity for the Legacy Award. I, I don't see what this great conspiracy theory is all about, or all this criticism. Good for her for launching something that is very genuinely her, she says. I think it is uh, her forte, her previous venture, The Tig, her website there, her Instagram account, uh, was a huge success. And I think this will be a huge success. She is a very artistic, clever woman. Um, she wants to make her own money. And this is a very legitimate way of doing it. What's the problem? Jenny, do you have any problem with the use of the Duchess of Sussex. That's how she is advertising this. So you go onto the Instagram page and it says, American Riviera Orchard by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Now, of course, she has a right to use that title, but isn't it a little bit uh, jarring that perhaps she's launching something America focused with the Duke of du du uh, Duchess of Sussex right there? No, nothing. I mean, we can pick holes in, in it if we want to, but I mean, she is the Duchess of Sussex and uh, she has every right, as you say, to use that title. I do have an opinion, yes, that if they um, dislike uh, most of the most of what the monarchy is about and royalty, not the monarchy, but royalty is about the royal family, perhaps it would be advisable not to use that title, but it is her right. And obviously it's going to be commercially valuable to her. So... Yeah, it was always going to be, I think. I, I think, think you must be aware of actually yeah. just always criticising Meghan, whatever she does. Like, there is mm. so much criticism of Meghan, whatever she does and whenever she opens her mouth. And I think we should be aware of that. You know, we've, um, we've trying, we're trying to say that we should lay off uh, Catherine, that we should be kind towards Catherine after a small mistake. Well, we can't have dual standards and be so critical of everything Meghan does and then demand kindness for Catherine.